In the previous video, we have implemented our A star algorithm. Now, what we need to do is to integrate this A star algorithm with our candidate map. So let's open up the candidate map script. Okay, great. And now let's slide it down where there is a method called create map. So after placing obstacles, what we need to do is to call find path. So let's create a new method. Let's call it find path. And let's alt enter on it and let's generate this method. Great. Now in this method, we want to call path or this dot path, which implies that we need to have this variable. So let's slide up. Let's create private list of vector threes called path equals new list. Okay. And we will call in the find path. This dot path is equal to a star. And I'll, I need to import the uh, namespace uh, Sunny Valley Studio AI. And we will call on it get path. And we will need to pass here a start position. So start point in our candidate map, exit point, and obstacles array, and also the grid itself. Now, the A star algorithm should calculate the path from start point to exit point and should uh, create a path list or save it in our path list. So what we want to do here is we might debug the positions that we have retrieved from our A star path. So let's loop for each far position in this dot path. And we will need to, we will want to create the debug dot log each position. Okay, so let's go back to Unity. So let's run our game. And we can see an empty list. That is because we have a bug in our A star algorithm. So let's stop the game and let's open up the A star algorithm. Now I have made a mistake here in the find neighbor method because I have passed two times Z position to calculate index from coordinates. We want to pass X and Z. Okay, let's go back to Unity. And now let's run the algorithm. And we can see that we have our positions. Okay, so let's see we are starting from the position below the starting point because we are not including the starting point in our path. And we can see that there is zero, seven, uh, zero, seven, one, seven, two, seven, up to the uh, five, seven, six, seven, seven, seven. And then we are going down. So uh, we are going somewhere here down. Uh, seven, uh, we are going here to the right. Uh, eight, three, nine, three, nine, two, nine, one. And we are moving next to the 10, 10 and 10, uh, 10, one and 10, zero. To, so we have this path uh, created, but not visualized. But we know now that our algorithm works. In the next video, we are going to talk about what we are going to do if we have no path because all the paths are blocked by the obstacles. So how we are going to find path and delete some of those obstacles.